my name is Stuart White. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of HSBC Asset Management in the UK. Um, and I'd like just to give you a, um, a few reflections on feeling like a fish out of water. And I'd like to share a, a fairly recent experience. Um, last April, my global CEO, Nicola Moreau, uh, asked me to take on the executive sponsorship uh, of HSBC Asset Management's uh, Global Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Programme. We call it DE&I. Um, and immediately I felt like a fish out of water. I experienced that sort of similar uh, and familiar feeling of uh, vulnerability. Uh, and some people sort of refer to it as the imposter syndrome. Uh, so what went through my mind was, you know, quite frankly, how could a middle-aged uh, man, I'm 50 years old, uh, I'm white, I'm heterosexual. Um, you know, some may say that I've experienced white privilege uh, through my career. And my surname's White. So, you know, how can I possibly be relatable and have any credibility in leading such an important initiative? Um, so, you know, my personal uh, you know, concerns were, you know, would I say the wrong thing? Um, how could I possibly have a meaningful impact? And quite frankly, I was getting a little worried about it. I, I then reframed my thinking and thought positively uh, with a view to how can I make this a success? Uh, and what people, uh, many people don't know is uh, I actually grew up in a, a very diverse and multiracial society in Manchester. Um, my parents were self-made, they worked hard, um, they were ready to give their, their children. I'm one of uh, five brothers about a future. Uh, but I was also brought up to never think twice about a person's colour, uh, their background, or in fact, any aspect of uh, diversity for that matter. Uh, but what I, I must say is when I came into the investment management industry uh, in London in the, the, um, uh, the late 90s, uh, you know, it really did strike me how few people of diverse backgrounds there were in the industry, and indeed how few women there were in the industry. Uh, on a positive note, over the, you know, the last 23 years, I, I, I've seen improvements. Um, and indeed, when I joined HSBC Asset Management in uh, uh, 2010, uh, it really was a very diverse organisation, uh, given its global nature. Um, I then reflected back um, when I was asked to take on this uh, DE&I leadership role, uh, and I, I came to the conclusion that um, the starting point has got to be inclusion. Uh, and really, you know, that is the starting point to enable a, a truly diverse and equitable culture to evolve. Uh, and I do pride myself in um, being very inclusive uh, throughout my career uh, with colleagues uh, and, and just having this philosophy, as I mentioned, of, you know, just going for it. Um, and that's exactly what I did with this. I, I vowed to learn from my colleagues and peers in the job uh, and not be worried. Uh, and I also um, realised that for our industry to truly transform for the better, uh, we've got to bring along the white male majority. Uh, we've got to dispel this image of white privilege in the industry. Uh, and you know, perhaps as a senior white male, you know, I could help. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about diversity, equity, inclusion. Uh, I'm also passionate that uh, we should not discriminate against anyone. Uh, we need to emphasize meritocracy, a level, a level playing field, and a, an equity of opportunity for all. Uh, and in addition, I believe that DE and I is important for every single colleague. Uh, or indeed person in our industry, including the white male majority, um, as it's going to make our, any asset manager or our industry as a whole much more effective. Um, we'll have more diversity of thought um, and clearly uh, more enjoyable environments to work. But we've got to practice what we preach as investors and applying DE&I into our environmental, social and governance screening and engagement of companies um, will inevitably lead to better investments and more value for clients. So, you know, it just intuitively makes sense.